Good morning. Welcome to CCTV, Celestial Watchers from around the world. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I was trying not to find too much stuff yesterday when I was hunting, but um, I'm going to take you on this little capture I got right here. You see it? Now, check it out. Let's turn that down. Let's turn that down. One second. All right. Anyways, uh, check this out. See that little sun look at thing? We're facing southeast. Now, it's uh, 1904, it's like 704 at night, southeast. You see a little purplish object right there. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna bring it in close, uh, southeast. You know, we've been taught the sun sets in the west, northwest in the winter, well, while I was doing this yesterday, or on the 24th, 25th, also, this is from, let me see, what's today? This is the 26th. I caught this yesterday. Or actually, last night, late. Anyways, I recorded it real quick. I wanted to show you. And um, I re-narrated it because it was too low. So I was, I'm more focused right now. As focused as I get. But look up here. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about that. You know, I'm just going to show it to you. Um, I was listening to one guy, Paul. I put a link up in the chat. And uh, I also put a link for Chickamos from the last video in the chat. For the last video to show you Chickamos a year ago with the planets. But anyways, on this video, there's a lot of stuff on the upper atmosphere. We're in Togia, or Togia, southeast. Right? And it's yesterday, or last night. But I seen that and I thought, well, it's one of the lights, because there's three lights in the, in the, on the horizon there. So then I went to the morning side of it, or the light side of it, and you can clearly see it's a planet. I mean, it's a red stellar core asteroid. Um, stellar cores are unlit, ancient unlit stars. They're real small looking. Um, but they have a lot of light when they ignite, you know, you'll see plasma strikes on the earth Down in Mexico, we see that uh, the plasma strikes and all that from the stellar cores Well, here's I think where I caught three stellar cores at least two stellar cores. Um, I don't think they're uh, Moons or anything from Nibiru because I don't see Nibiru in the area. I don't see them in the sky anywhere I don't see the big planets anywhere. So I'm gonna say these are asteroids what you think here? Asteroids. Well, watch. This is like about every 10 minutes. It's about 45 minutes worth of captures. They do them every 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is a little playback. And I want you to see the whole thing. So there's the playback on it. I'm going to set up a start and a finish. And then what I'm going to do is show it to you like a little slideshow. And you'll see how this moves to the right and then goes to the left and disappears. All three of them. Or all two of them. At least two of them. I'm thinking there's three, like the red planet, or the red core, the white core. There could be moons that are just like out there rogue, you know, in our atmosphere. But they definitely move in 45 minutes. So watch as we take this little journey. The music in the background is um, Blue Man theme songs put together for you. Um, Actually, this guy did like a version of Blue Man on the streets of New York, and I recorded it. So you hear a little people chattering in the background. I try to get rid of it. Don't worry about that. Um, but the music, I didn't make it. Uh, some street, I like street artists. You guys find a good street artist that's a nobody. Show me the video. I'll play the music. But uh, this music, it's really interesting. It's a hung drum, and he kind of gets the sound of the Blue Man group um, out of it which I like. I have some music of the Blue Man themselves. This is like an imitation Blue Man stuff, you know. They can't copyright me on this because the guy's sitting on a sidewalk in New York. I know he don't have an album of this, you know. They might copyright me, I don't know. But anyways, I don't care, you know. I think uh, I average about a buck eighty-six per video on commercials, so it's not like a big deal. <laughs> you know, I uh, was listening to Paul and he's just, you know, He's feeling it. He had a blue UFO over his house. I put a link in the, in the chat last video. Uh, I'll put it up again. I'll put it in the comments because you got to see the UFO. He goes, what's this blue thing in the sky? And I remember the angels over my house 
I remember God saying, hey, there's a storm coming. I'm going to send you some angels. I called for the angels. I recorded the angels. And that encouraged me that just as much as the demonic faces, like in the last video, that big old um, Anunnaki, 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 Anunnaki. i got to say it right. i got to spell it right, somebody told me. One guy said I don't spell right, so he don't believe anything I do. Well, that's too bad for him. Because you know something? Jesus still loves them. And these planets that are flying by like right now, they're flying by. So right here, I'm just showing you this, ranting away here. Um, let's get to the... Start seeing what's really happening here. I'll be back.
So guys, I'm back. Are you getting a glimpse of what I'm doing here? It's pretty insane, right? So keep watching. Um, I'm going to take you into this moon. This was last night at uh, 9 o'clock, say, 9 o'clock. Here's the moon. Now, I did a moon a moon phase picture, and I'll put it up here in a minute. Um, but the moon phase picture showed me that it was a little bit over half a moon. So you could say 60%, maybe 55%. And you'll see it right there. Okay. So <clears throat> what I'm saying is, is that was that our moon? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show it to you again. Just check it out. Now it's you know quarter to nine right now. Yeah, right about now it's nine. About ten minutes each clip. Boom. Every clip. Boom. There's a couple things around the moon I'm not going to talk about. You guys can comment about them, but they're pretty intense. Uh, I'm going to freeze frame a couple of them and just put them in your face and give me a comment on that. Timestamp it. Tell me what else you see. Because, uh, you know, I first when I first started doing this, you know, I didn't believe in UFOs. I believed in giants because the Bible talked about them, but I didn't understand them. But now that I see in this last days the illusions that are in the sky and the stuff that they're preparing for all of us to experience um, with, the, with the great deception, with the you know, false alien, and the blah blah, fear tactic, you know, here to help us forever. Well, <clears throat> I come to the conclusion this is not our moon. For the simple fact that it's a full moon and it's huge, and it's not like we have a super huge, huge moon. That, that doesn't even look like a moon to me. It looks more like a sun, or as we call them, sun simulators, which sun simulators, in a nutshell, if you go to Jeff Keys, look at his videos, you'll learn a lot about the sun simulators. The government invented these things around the 1957, 1960, and they're getting better and better at it. They have these all over the world stationed for moon, and I call this a moonulator, and the sun I call a sun simulator. Uh, the sun, moon simulator, I call it the moonulator. Anyways, I coined that because it's easier. But this is not our sun. Look at the difference in the CGI picture I put up there. And I'm not going to talk about all those ships because I've showed you the last two videos. Clearly, sky ships. Incredible stuff. And go back to the last two, three videos. You just go to the top of the cards and I'm always showing you the last video, most uh, newest video. But here we go again. You tell me this is the moon. I mean, if you say, Chris, you lost your mind, fine, that's good. That's all good with me. But it, it dips down. Okay, watch. It dips down and it dips back up. I'm going to show you another one in a minute. Another guy.
safe in Jesus' name. Have a good one, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Mars, bye. Bye.